Mobile Connect. And just to show you again, um, I will send a message from my phone. Hey, Chris. And then it pops up over here. Hey, other Chris. And we can see how the two are connected. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is download Dell Mobile Connect, which is the app we're going to use on both our phone and our computer to connect between the two uh, and sync our messages. So I'm here on my desktop that you guys can see. I'm running Windows 10, an unactivated version, uh, because that's what I do. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to pull up our menu and type in Dell Mobile Connect. There it is. And we're going to download it from the Windows App Store. Um, it's free, don't worry. So we're going to let that load up. And here it is. Um, if you couldn't find it, oh, you could just do this up here, Dell. Then it would bring you to this page. And here it is, Dell Mobile Connect 795 downloads. So that one's good. And we're going to do install. All right, so now that we've got it installed, we are going to open it. And because we're on Windows 10, this is the problem we get. So this device does not meet the minimum requirements for installation of the software. And if you have Windows 10, now since Windows 11 is out, they've updated the Dell Mobile Connect software um, so that it doesn't run on Windows 10, but runs on Windows 11. And unfortunately, my computer um, doesn't have the specs right now to actually get Windows 11. I'm using my old school computer. So what I'm going to do is show you how to kind of bypass this reading so that your computer thinks um, that the requirements are up to standards and it'll actually run. So you can see how now it doesn't run. And what we're going to do is we're going to, and if you see me look over, it's just because I have it written on a piece of paper, but we're going to go into our windows and type run. I'm going to have all the words up here on the screen so you can follow. And that's going to bring up this run command. And we are going to type in R E G E D I T regit. Um, and that's part of the windows control. Then we'll click OK. And it's going to bring up a registry. And then it is going to open the registry editor. So now we have it open on our left side, we have our uh, map. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the local machine, this one here, local machine, uncollapse that. Then we're going to go into software right here. Then we're going to go down to Microsoft right there. And then within Microsoft, we're going to go down to Windows. Uh, down a little bit lower there, Windows, then current version. And, you know, as you guys can see, I have all the words written out just in case. And then lastly, we're going to go into store. And that's where we are going to do all of our work. So here we're in store. We have our current values. And right now we just have a default um, and it's got a type and a no data value. And what we're going to do to kind of allow us to use that Dell mobile app on our Windows 10 computer is we are going to right click new string value and we're going to type in O O E M I D O E M I D. We're going to click enter and now we have to give that a value so we're going to double click it and in this value data we are going to put D-E-L-L, -L, all capital. So Dell, all capital. So, so far we have added an O-E-M-I-D um, new string with the, Dell, with the Dell data value. Now we're going to do one more new string value. We're going to call this one store with a capital S content, content, with a capital C, modifier, with a capital M, M-O-D-I-F-I-E-R, so R. So that's S-T-O-R-E-C-O-N-T-E-N-T-M-O-D-I-F-I-E-R. -E -E 
I F I E R with a capital S, a C and M. So now we've added that and we're going to double click it again and we are going to add the value D E L L with a capital D underscore in Spiron and in Spiron is, is spelt I N S P I R O N. So it's capital D E L L underscore capital I N S P I R O N Del Inspiron. And we're going to click OK. So now we've got these two values added into our register. And the next thing that we need to do is restart our computer. So it, it kind of restarts the system reading these two in. So I'm going to pause the video and then I'll come back when the computer has restarted. All right, now my computer has restarted. And just to show you, I will pull up the registry again. And you guys can see that I have my two string values that we added um, with the data values. And now if we go over to pull up Dell Mobile Connect, we will no longer get that issue and see it's connecting. And now we have this screen, which is going to allow us to connect to our phone. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump over to our phone, download the Dell Mobile Connect app there on our iPhone, and then we'll sync the two. All right, so here we are on the phone. We're going to open up the Dell Mobile or the uh, App Store. We're going to type in Dell Mobile Connect. Now, I had it downloaded previously, but you can just download it right here and it'll download super quickly. Now we are going to open it and it's going to want to connect to our PC. So we're going to agree to the terms and conditions. And now we're going to scan the QR code, give it access to our camera and then scan the QR code on our computer and it's going to start to connect. We're going to give it access to our contacts, to our media. Uh, I'm going to not allow that. Then I will give it access to Bluetooth because Bluetooth is what it's using to connect to the PC and pair that and then access to notifications. Yes, uh, you do need to give it access to notifications, I think, to get it to work. And so we should be all done. So we will say done here. And on the PC, we will say done as well. And we're going to skip the walkthrough. And we can see all of our contacts here. Um, we should have messages as well. So you might have messages in, in that other section. But now we're going to, just to show that it works, we're going to send me a message. So I'm going to say hello there from Dell Mobile Connect. And let's see it pop up on the phone. So it should, if we go to my messages, it is. Hello there from Dell Mobile Connect. And just to show you again, um, I will send a message from my phone. Hey, Chris. And then it pops up over here. Hey, other. Chris. And we can see how the two are connected. So that is how you connect your iPhone messages, your iMessages to your Windows 10 or Windows PC using Dell Mobile Connect. Um, and I like using this just because that way I can kind of have everything in one section. Um, I don't use it all the time, but if I'm charging my phone, now I can send messages through my PC. So it's super convenient. If you've enjoyed this video, leave a like and a comment below. And if you enjoy the content from this channel, as always, please subscribe.